we, Israel, are the kingdom of heaven and have suffered violence. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rabbi Chakwadash, double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, talking the truth through the Spirit, singing honor to the elect, peace and blessing be to all the sins for men, women, and children, do consist of the one third, and to the confusion of the faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is actually going to be here on earth. But remember what Ezra said. The earth was made for our sakes. You can read 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 54 on down. I advise you to. But we're not ruling it. Understand prophecy took place. Right? So let's just get right into it. Matthew chapter 11, verse 11 through 12. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist, so let's think about the time Yahweh Shai came about. And I say that with all due respect. When the only begotten son was born to his mother Mary, Father Joseph. Let me, get, let me put some respect on it. All right, that's what it's talking about over 2,000 years ago. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent taken by force. The kingdom of heaven. So you're telling me that Michael and the archangels were fighting with Satan? No, 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 no. No, we're not talking about that dogma. It's talking about the nation of Israel. We've been suffering and we've been taken by force, by violence. And we're going to get into that. Let's get right into it. Remember, though, you got to understand that the Lord said that when the when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. When the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. So king on king, the earth given to the hands of the wicked. So when the righteous get it, which is us, the Hebrew Israelites, Isaiah chapter two, verse one is going to kick in. Where the nations are gonna to want to come and serve us. How can how can the, the small has the forty the forty eighters over there? How can they say that they're these people, you know, according to the book, but all of a sudden they causing the most wars? I don't get it. So let's get right back into it. This is Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter to the kingdom of, of God. Think about this, man. The Bibles and parables and allegories. It said the, it said the kingdom of heaven was taken by force. And I said that we must go through tribulation to enter to the kingdom of God. We are the kingdom of God, and it shall be manif we are the kingdom of heaven, of course, and it shall be manifested amongst the nations, in their faces, amongst it, the, before their eyes, is what I want to say. Harken unto this, Luke chapter 17, verse 20 through 21. And when he was when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. That's why when the elders say we're, we're, we're building up the third temple, we spiritually building up the third temple. Did not it say Yahweh Shai is the um the chief cornerstone, the rock that the rock that the builder refused, and did it not refer to us in First Peter the second chapter to be lively stones? So we say we're, we're lively stones. Come on, man. First Corinthians eleven chapter. Who's the head of Yahweh Shai? Yahweh. And so the whole house, man, it's beautiful, man. That's how you guess I got to that's how you gotta look at it. That's how you gotta understand it. But let's get back to how how another way the Lord refers to us as heaven on earth in, in, in these bodies that we're living in. Like I said, the, the kingdom of heaven was taken by force. That was us being taken by force. And through much tribulation shall we enter back into our stead of being the righteous old over the earth in, in rulership. But but through that, through that, we must enter um through many tribulations, man. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 1. How have the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger? Ooh, that's heavy. And cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty 
of Israel and remember not his footstool in the day of his anger. Let me think about this. The door of Zion is who? The nation of Israel. Cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel. What is our, the men? What is our beauty? What's the beauty of Israel? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because that goes back to our laws, statutes, and commandments. Our heritage. Remember what the Lord said? The Lord said, I have planted thee a noble vine, but you have turned to me a degenerate plant. Roughly paraphrasing in the book of Jeremiah. Come on, man. Let that sink in. So, the Lord cast us down from, from, from um, our heaven. Our heavenly stead by being here on earth under the heathens. Ooh, that's heavy. I thought about something. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Let that sink in. The Lord said he cast down our beauty from heaven. So what does that mean? Will a prince walking on the earth while his servants on his horse? That's you being humbled. And that's what the Lord did to us. He humbled us. Remember the Lord said, matter of fact, let me get it. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire and mine anger which shall burn forever. So the Lord said, oh, yeah, you're going to forget about your heritage. You're going to you're going to go off. Like Paul said, that shall be a falling away first. Then that man, of, then the son of perdition shall be, um, you know, shown, shall be known. And perdition means destruction. Esau, out of all of the history of mankind, in the shortest amount of time, look at what Esau have done to the earth over, not just only centuries, over millenniums. Like the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, all of that. Hell, the Tree of Methuselah. That's over four. What? Well, that's four thousand BC. That's over what? Six thousand years ago. Look at the state the Earth is in right now. So there had to be a falling away first. And now we know who the Son of Perdition is. And remember, the Lord said we we're going to discontinue from our heritage. So that so that was us being cast out from our heavenly state, as being princes walking upon earth and servants upon horses. But listen to this. Pray of Azariah chapter 1, verse 2 through 13. Bear with me. Then Azariah stood up and prayed on this manner, and opening his mouth in the midst of the fire. So, who is this talking about? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Book of Daniel. Yes, they parked for in the book of Daniel, correlate one another. Baruch, if I'm not mistaken, Baruch wrote, wrote Jeremiah's letter, if I'm not mistaken. Bear with me, though. Okay, let's get through this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Verse three, bless art thou. This is this is what Azariah was saying in the fire. Bless art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. So how can you call Yahweh Shai Abraham? Abraham Yahweh Shai. I was just thinking about that one dude for Sakari bugged out. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Right? Suffering the violence, the Lord is righteous for doing it to us. Listen, yea, true are all thy works, thy ways are right in all thy judgments. Truth. The Lord, you have to read, I think it's second edges, the second chapter, or the first edges, the second chapter. The Lord, the Lord did a whole like pleading letter to us, like, was it not I that brought you out of Egypt? Was it not I that fed you in the wilderness? Was it not I that pushed out the Canaanites for you, that gave you a land. I mean, the Lord was like, was it not I that did all these things for you? And this is what I get in return? So this is what Azariah is saying is. I agree. Uh, I'm read again. Azariah 1 and 4, For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgments true. And all the things that thou hast brought upon us, and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, Yarawashalom, which is the city of um, peace, also the city of David, yeah, thou hast executed true judgment. 
For according to truth and judgment, didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins? Transcending the slave trade because of our sins. Going to captivity under Pontius Pilate and all the Caesars. Our sins. The book of Judges is, it's a book called Judges, y'all. About the captivity the Lord was putting us in. Also, let alone in 2 Kings. First and second Kings. Come on, man. Verse six, for we have sinned and committed iniquity departing from thee. That's what we've done. We departed from our father, our heavenly father. We departed from our heritage. Let's get that really quick. Jeremiah chapter two, spirit heavy. Jeremiah chapter two, verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewn them out systems Broken sisters that can hold no water. What's the water? The truth. How shall I say? He that believes on me out of his belly shall rivers of rivers of living water. And also, one of my favorite precepts right here, and I'm going to jump right back to it. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. <sighs> I love that one. Anyhow, let's get back to it. So we forsook our Lord. All right. Verse seven. And all um, Azariah one and seven. All things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments. Wages of sin is death. Nor kept them. Neither done as thou hast commanded us. That it might go well with us. Wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us. And everything that thou hast done to us. Thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us, listen here, and thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies. Hebrews 12 and 16. Who also is a profane person, as Esau, a fornicator, who from one morsel of me sold his birth, but that's the lawless enemy. Most hateful forsakers of God, and to an unjust king. Hell, read First Maccabees, the first chapter. In Tychus Epiphanes, the fourth made a decree. We couldn't keep none of our customs. If he, if he, if if the women was caught circumcising the sons, they would throw the sons all over the wall. Yes, it was the kingdom of heaven was taken by violence into an unjust king and the most wicked and the most wicked in all the world. Let that sink in. Job 9, 24. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and lamentate. Forgive me. A shame and reproach to thy servants and to them that worship thee. That's heavy. That reminds me of um Lamentations. Jeremiah. You got to read the book of Lamentations. Jeremiah was really lamenting to the Lord, man. That would make a marker of us and everything. Kind of like how they buffeted Yahweh Shai. They punched him and they said, prophesy who hit you, who struck you, who smote you. Bastards. Verse 11, yet deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy co covenant, and, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us for thy beloved Abraham's sake, for thy servants Isaac's sake, and for thy holy Israel's sake, to whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply the sea as the stars of heaven and as the sand and life upon the seashore. So why was the um, kingdom of heaven taken by violence? Because the Lord gave us to the hands of our lawless enemies. But I'm gonna close out because the Lord's gonna redeem us, and we're gonna be get, we're gonna get put back into our heavenly estate. Baruch chapter four verse twenty five through thirty two. I'm gonna close out. My children suffer patiently. Here's the patience in the faith of the saint. Suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For yeah, how about Shabbat Shabbat? For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, of course. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Now the scripture said, um, maybe what like nine things that please me. I think it said that one of them is a man that lived to see the fall of his enemy. Indeed. Verse 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Stop playing. Be of good comfort to the spirit. 
O my children, and cry unto you. How about Shema Shai? This says God. For ye shall be remembered. Listen here, y'all. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so be in return, seek him ten times more. The Lord said, we're going to be remembered. So what the, what the scripture says? So what if some do not believe? Shall I make the unbelief that the most high God will not affect? God forbid, yea, let your how about your shy be true, but every man a liar. The Lord said he going to do something, he going to do it. So whether they want to hear or forbear, they will know that they what? Prophet was amongst them. I should have brought that out of that dude. Whether you want to hear or forbear, you're going to know a prophet was amongst you. Saying that that's not your main concern. But you Just go to church then, because they don't preach about prophecy. Just go back to church. Anyhow, shots fired. <laughs> uh, forgive me in a moment verse 29 for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation into a new covenant take a good heart O Jerusalem for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee Jerusalem city of peace y'all miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. You gotta be, you gotta read Jeremiah's Lamentation to get a better understanding. Verse 32 Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Well, I love about the spirit. I can just go in many directions. There's so many more precepts I want to bring out, but pretty much the whole purpose is that we are the kingdom of heaven. And when we get back into our rulership, all nations will flock into us to learn the ways of your hell by Shema Washai, by Shiva Chakadash. But sin will still be in the kingdom because they're going to go off because they're not perfect. Especially with Esau being in the kingdom. Oh my God, you. Boy, boy, boy. All right, so with that being said, pray with edifying fans. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamasha Allah. Wolf of a ball. Shalom.